Well, one of our favorite things to do is to bring groups to Isabella Court because it's, it's kind of like one-stop shopping, if you will. The block has five galleries on it, and the galleries have a beautiful range of work, ranging anywhere from emerging artists to mid-career artists to internationally known artists. And it's just a wonderful a way to spend an afternoon to kind of take things in and get a sense of what's happening in the art world in one shot. I show a mixture of emerging and established artists, uh, many from Houston or many who have lived here. Maybe they studied here and they've moved on to New York or Los Angeles, but I keep, they, they still keep a tight connection with the city. My name is Devin Borden and we're in my gallery, which is Devin Borden Gallery. Working with a group of artists is a little bit like putting together a really nice dinner party. You have to have a number of interesting voices, perspectives. The exhibitions I have currently are by Paul Kittleson, who is an established Houston artist. He teaches sculpture at the University of Houston. And in this gallery, we have the work of Clark Derbis, who is based in Vermont, uh, has strong family ties to Houston, and uh, this is my second solo show with him. Every time you come, the show will be probably very, very different than whichever last one you saw. So our program is very varied. We show mostly um, emerging to mid-career Texas-based contemporary artists. My name is Hillary. I am the director here at Art Palace Gallery. We love color, but we're not averse to a good monochromatic show. And Houston seems to love paintings, so we respond to that. We show a lot of paintings, but we're one of the few galleries that has a lot of success in showing um, video and installation, so we do that occasionally too when the budget allows for it. Here is um, Bradley Curl and Bill Willis, a two-person show called Simple Taste is Popular. They are both um, MFA graduates from University of Houston. Both artists in this show have used sort of like this found imagery. So Bill is working from vintage Italian cookbooks mostly, and Bradley Curl is using these um, vintage nudie playing cards to make these figurative paintings, and then Bill with his still lives of food. And We're mainly a contemporary art gallery, and uh, we, my wife and I have a really passion for love we, for, for the arts, and we started this more as a hobby than we did as a business in the first place. And uh, we, we only put art here that we really love and very contemporary. Emil Samara, this is Samara Gallery at 3911 Main Street. Well, more than half of our artists are from emerging artists from the Houston area. When you talk to, uh, you meet the artist, it, it has to have a story. It has to, it, you know, how do, what's inspired them and where they're, and why did they create that piece of art. So we, we fall in love with the piece and we fall in love with the artist. This show, this show is uh, Margaret Garrett. She's a New York artist. Uh, she's been painting for over 25 years. She is, uh, started her career as a dancer and actually danced for a ballet company when she was young. And, um, and, and she, uh, you can tell from the paintings that all of these are dance inspired. They, she, she starts by watching dance and making these shapes and collages based on inspiration with drawing, it, drawing them with ink and takes these into making a, a collage and from the collage she decides on the shape and the colors and what she wants, you know, the, what painting she wants to make and they're just all personally inspired by her and it, it's just something, you know, it, it goes back to her love of dance. The canvas is her, is, is her theater. We represent 30 artists whose work is extremely diverse. So I think that people, for the most part, especially even if they're uh, regular visitors, will not necessarily know what to expect. We have worked with some artists like David Aylesworth for 23 years. I'm Carrie Inman and this is Inman Gallery. I choose work that I love, that I want to live with, and then I look for people to share it with. You can be confident when you walk into the gallery that I really believe in what we're showing. The way that you respond to work speaks about you. You, you really have an opportunity to learn about yourself when you look at art. You know, the gallerists are always looking for intriguing artists to show, intriguing ideas to share, and looking at art is really sort of insightful to something about yourself. So with each show comes an opportunity to explore, uh, to consider something possibly for your collection, but also to learn a little bit of something about yourself.